said, you know, just days earlier that uh, the only person you consider playing, uh, moving away from shortstop for and playing second base is, is Francisco Lindor. What is that relationship like and, and why do you want to play alongside of him as badly as, as you apparently do? Um, it, it was just the way I, that I was, you know, obviously trying, trying to be in, in Chicago and, and, and trying to get that extension. Um, you know, trying seeing, seeing that I was getting closer to, to the free agency, um, you know, I, I had a really good um, communication and, and, and friendship with, with Lindor and, and, and his family. Um, you know, they just they really asked me. I, I, I kind of didn't want to answer that question till till free agent, but you know, um, it is it is what it is, and and you know, something you know things happen for a reason, and and you know, I can't wait for for him to come back and and be at the middle with with him. Thanks. Next is Tony DeComo from MLB.com. Hey, Javi, just to follow up on that. What is uh, maybe your interest level, and I know you just got here, but of, of being here potentially for more than two months, of, of being here longer term? Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see how, how everything goes. You know, I'm, I'm obviously trying to get to know the guys and, and trying to be you know, as, as close as, as I can and, and learn from, from the guy and see what happens, see what happens um, these this two months. Um, hopefully, you know, I know we, we're in first place, and, and hopefully we go, we go deep in the, in the playoffs and see what happens next year. And also, I know, obviously, in, in Chicago, you've been playing mostly shortstop in recent years. What's your comfort level still at second and, and even third base left field places you've played in the past? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, obviously, I like I like to play around the around the, the, the infield. And, and, you know, I've been sticking to short um, this, this couple um, past years. Um, you know, I just I just think about that combination of the middle and, and it just it just priceless, you know, and, and like I say I can't I can't wait to to for him to, to come back and, and, and be at the middle with him. Thank you. Natalie Hola Javier, bienvenidos. Eh, hablaste mencionaste lo emocionado que estabas de, de jugar con, con Francisco. Ustedes jugaron juntos en la selección de Puerto Rico. Eh, jugaron en contra en la Serie Mundial 2016. ¿Me puedes hablar un poquito de lo que es esa relación y qué significa para ti ahora poder estar en el mismo equipo con él? Sí, en realidad, como les dije, eh, tenemos una, una relación de, de, de amistad súper super cercana. Eh, su familia y, 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 la, y, la, y la mía se conocen. Eh, como, como tú mencionaste, lo, jugamos juntos y, jug y hemos jugado en contra y, y en realidad que la química y... y la diversión que llevamos allá afuera en el terreno es, es increíble de ambas de ambas de ambas partes de, de, de su lado y, y, de, y del lado contrario eh, como como ustedes saben lo que pasó en la en la World Series, que, que fue muy divertida jugar contra él y, y, y todo el mundo sabe que nos divertimos mucho jugándola gracias next up is Greg Joyce from the New York Post Hey Javier, when, when, how soon after the trade went down, or even before the trade, had you been in contact with Francisco, and, and what were those were those conversations like yesterday when you found out? Um, I, I was been in contact with him to be honest. Um, as soon as it was it was official, um, he called me and and you know we we talked. He was really excited. Um, you know I talked to a, a other other couple guys here and and you know they were they were mentioning that that Lindor was was really excited and, and obviously I was. I was really excited too, and 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 you know I'm here. I'm I'm ready to to see him and, and see what happens. And he said yesterday he feels like uh, that you're ready to you know kind of embrace the spotlight, put on a show. I know you're in a big stage in Chicago, but how much do you feel like the you know the new city, New York? Do you feel like you kind of embrace that that spotlight? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I know I know um, New York got great fans. You know, I, I've been seeing it. Um, from the other side, um, hopefully they they really excited to to have me because you know I'm really I'm really excited to help the team and and, and bring bring my energy here. Thanks. Next up is Disha Tozar from the New York Daily News. Hey Javier, just to follow up on that, why do you think you're able to embrace the spotlight as well as you do? It's just the, the way the way that I play. Um, you know, I'm the, I'm the same way. I play the same way, and, and I'm the same guy every day. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to bring that that energy to the to the team, to the clubhouse, um, out there. Um, 
I think I, there's there's just not much to say. I'm just gonna be me and and go out there and compete and play hard. And then, how difficult do you think it will be to sort of adjust to the shifting sequences and getting used to your your infield defense as a whole? Um, I don't think I don't think it will be that different. You know, um, there there's different system, but but I already got to the coaches and and you know we we we've been talking already. We we walk out there and and, and talk about their positioning. So. Um, I should be good, and, and we'll see what happens during the game, and, and we're gonna we're gonna stay in contact. Thanks. Next up is Ferdinand Rivera. Saludos, Javi, desde Puerto Rico. Eh, bienvenido a Nueva York. Para ti, verdad, ¿cuál será la expectativa de esta temporada eh, de lo que resta con Nueva York y tu unión ahora con Lindor? ¿Cómo lo ves? Pues en realidad. Eh, Yo solamente quiero ayudar al equipo, primero que nada, y, y en realidad quiero terminar fuerte y saludable, que, que es lo más importante eh, en mí ahora mismo, que sabe, tengo, tengo varias lesiones en mi cuerpo. Eh, uh, no me gusta estar, no, sabe, no me gusta estar fuera del de, de line up ni, ni, ni fuera del terreno. So no me molesta jugar un poco eh, con, con, sabe, con un poco de molestia. Y <coughs> super emocionado, de verdad, super emocionado por, por Por estar aquí, por estar, por estar con, con Lindol y, y obviamente con, con muchos otros peloteros que son, que son buenísimos y, y, y siempre me gustó jugar, jugar con ellos. Vestirás el número 23, este, ¿qué significado tiene ese número para ti? Eh, en realidad fue uno de los números que, que usé cuando, cuando niño. Eh, lo tengo, lo tengo eh, desde que jugaba 5 y 6 con, con, con mi hermano y mi hermano también siempre lo usaban so eh, es muy especial para mí para para mi familia y, y en realidad también lo tengo en mi en mi en mis tatuajes uno de mis tatuajes también los tengo el 23 so es muy especial para mí por último un mensaje para Puerto Rico saludos mi gente sé que sé que hay muchos puertorriqueños aquí espero espero dar lo mejor de mí y que y que les guste cuando salga al terreno y espero obviamente que, que les guste estar con con Lindor allá afuera Rich Hey, uh, welcome to New York. Um, the excitement level we know with you playing next to Lindor, but what's the excitement level that you have with possibly joining an infield on the corners that has Pete Alonso at first and Jeff McKeown at third? That's a pretty good quartet of infielders. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, um, like I say, I, I seen them, I seen them playing um, and having fun from the other side. You know, I'm, I'm trying to try and get to to know them a little bit more and. and I'm pretty sure I'm, um, it's going to be fun. I just I just went outside with with, J, with JD and 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 hit and and saw how much power he has and 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 it's it's pretty incredible. So um, see what happens when 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 I go out there. Thank you. Next up is Raúl Ramos. Saludos, Javi. Raúl, ya con las bases llenas. Hace unos días eh, hablaste en el programa de Molusco sobre el deseo de jugar segunda base con con Lindor. ¿Te sorprendió cómo se dio este cambio y cuál fue tu primera impresión cuando te enteraste que ibas para los Mets? Eh, mira, pues en realidad eh, fue un poco sorprendente por, por, porque obviamente no, no contaba con, con irme de Chicago, pero a la misma vez eh, siempre tuve muy, muy buena comunicación con, con la oficina de, de, del equipo y, y siempre nos mantuvieron al tanto de, de, del, del porciento que teníamos de, de, de cambiarnos. Y pues realmente lo que todo lo que todo lo que nos mencionaron se, se dio, se dio, o sea, se dio por, por, por el plan que ellos tenían y por, y por la organización que, o sea, por el plan que tienen sobre la organización para el año, para el año que viene y para el, para el futuro. Eh, algo que, algo que se entiende y, y, y súper emocionado también a la misma vez por, por, por venir a jugar con Lindor. ¿Te sorprendió que Chicago desbaratara el equipo? Eh, yo pienso que están haciendo algo muy inteligente en, en en dejándonos ir y, y, y tratar de, de ayudar a otro equipo y, y después irle a la agencia libre y, y, y ver qué pasa con, con nosotros. <coughs> Pero creo que creo que tienen un buen plan. Next up is Mike Fitzpatrick. Hey, Javier, welcome to New York. Um, just a couple quick things. Just how, how tough was it the last uh, you know few days and really few weeks, I guess, um, in Chicago with the Cubs, that, that that core group of guys that accomplished so much there, you and and Anthony Rizzo and Chris Bryant, when it started to become clear that that was going to get broken up and that was sort of coming to the end, um, it, just how tough was that to 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 go through and to sort of accept the last few days? And then 
what's the excitement level jumping from a team that was, you know, struggling and, and in the second division and, and moving into first place and, you know, at the snap of a finger, really? Yeah, um, you know, I think I think that the toughest one, um, it was the first one. It was it was Tony. Um, you know, I think Tony Tony's done, you know, so much for for the team and, and you know, for <clears throat> for the fans and, and, and for for the city, all the other other life that, that that he that he saved and, and all other process that he that he had to do. Um when he left it was I think it was um the toughest one and, and you know, I let I let all, all my emotions out with him so it didn't really get to me when when I got traded but it was definitely it was definitely a tough one and, and you know, obviously at the same time always ready to, to move on and, and think about my family and, and take care of my family. Javier, welcome to New York, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Members of the media, that was our final guest. We encourage you to come down to the press conference.